Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a lightly foggy but otherwise clear day here in the canyons. And uh, very interesting car we're sitting in right now, and I'm kind of excited to drive it. This is Jimmy. Thank you so much for coming You're down, welcome. Jimmy. Thank you for having me. Um, and this is his Subaru uh, Forester ST XTI. What do you want to call it? Forester XT STI inspired. Okay, so tell me about it. <laughs> so, um, almost a complete uh, STI swap. Okay. I have a um, um, starting with the transmission. It's a uh, version seven um, STI Type C RA six speed full drivetrain swap uh, down to the Brembos, um, full STI suspension or aftermarket. So I have a, uh, all control arms are STI. I have a white line sway bars, white line in links, white line bushings. Um, Cusco chassis stiffening, white line rear, uh, rear strut tire bar. You got uh, a lot. A lot. It's a lot. STI seat, steering wheel, cluster. Well, this is more than STI. In yeah. the interior, there's a lot going on. Yeah. You've got your, your Cobb access port here. Yeah, access which, port there. And then you've got your Pioneer radio head unit built in. And then mm -hmm. you've got a, an Android tablet on the top. Mm -hmm. is, and that's your gauges? That's my, uh, yeah, that's my gauge. So That's I, super cool. Did I you do that yourself? I did. That's very that easy. It's really? Cheap mod. It's this a great is a, uh, install. So in Japan, this gauge pod is actually sold with the Foresters. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so it's easy, the same size. You just yeah. pop it in. Oh, that's great. Well, let's go for a drive. Let's All see. Right. Uh, let's see. Let's see how. She, what was that beep? Was that the hill hold thing? Yeah, that was the hill hold. Oh, okay, cool. So uh, All right. this steering wheel, which you emailed me two days ago, and you're like, I don't, I might not have the steering wheel. Yeah. But it's here, and I really like it. It's the, nice and thick with this carbon and. It's almost like a Koenigsegg steering wheel. I love it. All right, so it's more power. So did you you have a you have your exhaust on a uh, on a remote, huh? I do. So did you just open it? I just opened it for you. Um, it allows it to flow straight through, full three inch. And it's just a clicker with a flapper. Exactly. Not the valve brilliant. is inside the muffler. That's brilliant. We're gonna we're gonna work our way up to it. So this section is a little tight and technical. Okay. The steering. Well, like all Subarus, nothing happens on center. Right. Let's get, there we go. Oh, a little hesitation there. Oh, that's weird. We are at altitude. You think that has anything to do with it? We're about 4,000 feet here. Probably, it just got a fuel cut. Huh, all right, well, we're gonna continue. Okay. How much power does it make in theory? So uh, I'm running a stage two off the shelf map um, from Cobb. So uh, I'm guessing around 280 uh, to the wheels. So mild power. Mild power. so far yeah. I can feel uh, some of the imperfections in the road but it's not throwing me right feel suspension coilovers Yeah. I'm not going any lower. 
<laughs> it's got good power. I mean, we are going downhill. We've got the gravity assist, but pedals are nicely spaced there. This steering wheel is great. This it feels expensive, dude. It, it's probably one of my best mods. It's really cool. It's a it's a neat it's a neat uh, piece of uh, interior trim. Thank you. It sounds good. This thing. It's like like close up the exhaust real quick. Okay, so this is quiet. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <it's> just <laughs> air, just <laughs> air moving. Yeah, open it back up. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's good. It's not too loud. It's just loud enough. Yep. Yeah, closed. It's it's for neighborhood. It's for you know cruising. Yeah. Highway, so there's no drone. What kind of tires are you running? I am running Bridgestone Potenza RE760 Sports. You like them? I actually do like them, yeah. Um, they're not the stickiest. Um, they have decent uh, uh, rain performance. Uh -huh. And they are they have really good tread wear. Well, you live in LA, do you drive the rain much? <laughs> uh, when it does, yeah, I do drive. I drive this car a lot. It's my daily, it's my show car. Um, I am going to see one this year. Look at this. Yeah. this! There's the fog. It's completely gone. And uh, just in time for us to flip around and run back up the hill. Nice. Let's see how how is your turning radius? Crap. Is it bad? Yeah. Uh, Average. Not the worst I've not seen. Worst. Let's clear. Uh, we got to clear out the uh, windshield. It's a little humid in here. All right, uphill. So did you did you choose a Forester versus an Impreza for? For it to be different or for practicality or what was it? Pretty much. So um, this is my second Forester. Before my first, I actually had a Forerunner, and that was my first car. Uh -huh. um, Those like things I, are good. They're underrated, man. Oh, Forerunners are great. Very. They actually handled pretty decently too. Um, but, oh, there's your hesitation again. Yeah, getting fuel cut for some reason. I wonder if that's altitude related, man. Sometimes people come up here and have uh, and have issues, you know, with the with the uh, the altitude on their tunes. Yeah. We will continue. Um, where were we? Oh, why you ended up with Why I got this. Yeah. So, I, you know, I love WRX and STIs. Initially, when I was looking at Subaru, I couldn't see myself driving a car with a big wing. I don't know why. Uh -huh. I, didn't, I didn't want to be labeled the stereotypical, stereotypical, I don't know, ricer, I guess. <laughs> now I don't care. Now I would drive one. Um, it's nice when you throw care out the window, isn't it? Yeah, it's so nice. That's why I roll around LA in a 920,000 mile Lexus. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Look at this! Oh, up see on power. You know, you, you get a little hint of that understeer on the braking, but on the power it rotates really good. Mm -hmm. I bet this thing will be a lot of fun at autocross. Oh it is, man. It's it's uh I actually have it stiffer um when I do autocross. Where do you go to Adams? Uh, uh Autocross Speedway. Oh, how is that track? I haven't done it. It's okay. It's uh it's pretty small. Um I would I'm hoping to SCCA soon. Oh, 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 there we go. Sorry about that. That was bump into hairpin. Yep. Rough road. And I was thinking about the configuration of the track in Auto Club Speedway. <laughs> My mind wandered. Oh, no. It's been a long morning. Yo. This, oh, I'm, I'm in the wrong gear. Man, my coffee is not kicked in yet. I'm in the wrong gear. I'm losing focus. What is wrong with me? I hope our uh, our GoPro is still functional and not fogged out. Right. Look at that. This is the best corner for drone shots right here. Oh. You can get up right up high and look right down. It's weird that you have that that, that fuel cut off because it's not consistent. It's yeah. not doing it again. And I haven't had it uh, crap ever. Well, really. you know what happens when when I show up to drive your car. You're, you're pushing. <laughs> things will. No, it's not even pushing. It's just okay. like things tend to happen with people's cars when I show up to drive them that are not expected necessarily. Uh -huh. It's just a weird thing. Oh. Tight, tight, tight. You know, with, and with the higher seating position of this, it's like oh. easier to accidentally carry more speed into the corner. When you sit lower, you tend to adjust visually, you know quicker than when you're up high you go yeah I can I can make that no I can't <laughs> good point it sounds really good though what exhaust is this so this is a uh, um, um, basically a turbo back exhaust NVIDIA downpipe custom uh, three inch piping all the way back to the X-Force Varex muffler um, did you intentionally
intentionally choose that configuration or did it just kind of end up that way? I did. I intentionally chose it. Um, I wanted to say cat at this time, so it's a high flow cat. Um, I put a resonator in, so it's not crazy loud. It's nice. And it's, then, uh, when I heard you coming up the hill when, this morning, it sounded good. Yeah. It sounds good in here, too. Do you get any? You get much drone on the highway, or is it all right? It's not too bad, actually. Um, if I didn't have the resonator in, in the mid-pipe, then, yeah, it, it'd be a lot worse. Yeah. But it's actually not too bad. But I, I usually close the valve anyway, just, you know, keep everything quiet. Man, it got foggy back over here. Yeah. It's actually a little bit louder now because my trunk is entirely stripped. I'm getting a custom, oh, on, really? custom audio system built yet. Yeah. It's got a nice, nice mid-range, four or 5,000 RPM. It's, it's very happy. Whee! Yeah, that's the uh, STI Turbo mid-range. Yeah. VF43. These, uh, this, this thing is great. It, the one thing I'm still, you know, also, every time I drive a Subaru, I'd say this, if you can get that 2015 steering rack, because it's a much faster ratio, mm -hmm. it, it's the, the one thing about the new STI where I'm just like, ah, this is great. This is awesome. Huh? Yeah, everything else I was like, oh, this is definitely still an STI. Um, but we may have to see if it fits. This is really nice, though. and You've got a good package here. It's it's well appointed and comfortable. One could almost say luxurious. Yes. Yeah. Good job, Jimmy. <laughs> nice Thank car. You nice car. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Oh man, that's okay. very nice. This is cool. Check out uh, check out Jimmy's car in Wheelwell if you, especially if you happen to have a Forester. He's got a nice balanced uh, list of mods going on. I don't I don't know why we got the fuel cut out, but uh, it, whatever. It's it, it was fine the rest of the time. So it's weird things happen sometimes, mm -hmm. but. But nice, cool look, uh, subtle and, uh, and and aggressive at the same time. This steering wheel is badass. I'm, I am glad you got it. Thanks, man. Thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate yep. it. That was great. And thank you guys. And uh, I'll see you next time.